Yo, what is good everyone? Today I'm going to walk you all through my process behind making my loop kit covers and I'm gonna show you the tricks and tips how you can make your own. I'm also gonna be including a template in my video, you can purchase it for like $10 maybe. Also including a whole lot of textures in this uh, template so you can use choose your own and also the fonts that I use. I'm gonna show you how to customize your template and I'm also gonna do one from scratch. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. What I usually do is I start off with the image the size 3000 pixels times 3000 pixels. And I also bump up the resolution to like 800, but you can do a little lower than that. As you can see, the image size is gonna be around like 25 megabytes. And yeah, uh, the reason why I do this because if you have a high resolution cover art, you can always decrease the size and it's not gonna look blurry. So I usually start off with searching these on, on Google for cool images. One it's website too hard is Pinterest. Me. I think you're familiar with this website. What I also do is uh, save that image from Pinterest and also search that image on Google for... So maybe there's a high resolution image of that exact image on Google. And I always try to look for the best quality, so... So I already moved my image into the canvas. And so what I'm gonna do is grab my eraser tool and set this soft round brush. And I'm gonna copy the image overlay texture from the template that I'm gonna include and copy just above the main layer that we have. And as you can see now it has a kind of cool lightning to the whole image. And you can change the whole lighting by clicking right here and you can just move around this knob and change the color. I think I'm gonna go with the green color just to show you how I'm gonna turn this whole image into a really cool, cool green looking uh, kind of theme. I'm gonna hide these layers for now because it's just gonna be in our way. Now I'm gonna add our main title right here so the So what I usually like to do is double click on this part right here and you can spice up your text with these options right here. So first I'm gonna give it this bevel and emboss option so it turns into like kind of a 3D stuff. Give it a texture, as you can see you can change the texture right here but it looks good i'm gonna give it a gradient overlay you can really use anything because we're gonna give the color afterwards so i'm just gonna choose a green as it's also gonna be green at the end yeah this this is gonna be great i'm gonna choose a glow right here and make it drop a shadow i'm gonna change this to black as you can see yeah, now we're gonna give the whole thing a color, so just go in the adjustments and choose the gradient map. And as you can see, it's already changed the color of the whole image. I'm gonna choose a green kind of color. And as you can see, when you try to choose a image, it's gonna mess up the whole image and you can, you can barely see the main thing that is going on but I'm gonna choose this color right here for example and we're gonna change the blending option blending mode from normal to anything you would like so just look up for the best option I think I really like this color one and one thing I usually do is um, group all these layers to give it a name like main part just to be a little organized so you don't get lost in between the layers. Next I'm gonna give it a little cool handwriting type effect for the loop kit title because I want people to know it's loop kit. So I'm gonna just type right here loop kit.
So I'm gonna change the K to a bigger one. And I'm gonna move just right. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Just right onto the main title. And I'm gonna also give this one a drop shadow. Make it a little softer. All right, this is looking great. I basically uh, put a little text at the bottom or the top where I'm letting know people what's in the kit, how many loops, in what style. It's usually not that noticeable uh, on the kits, but it's giving a more professional look on your on your loop kit cover. So I'm gonna just copy and paste what I already have and. Uh, in the template that I'm going to include, it's all editable, so you don't have to worry about these things like that. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. You can always change the background of the image, you can mess around with the main title of the image, the, the middle text. And also you can give your loop kit cover some stickers or some more. Uh, textures so I'm gonna do that and add two more textures that we moved earlier so the first texture is not gonna we're not gonna do anything because it's already set up to to be a little transparent but for the texture one texture what I usually do with my textures is set these to screen or lighten I'm gonna choose lighten right now and lower the opacity a little bit just right there and yeah, as you can see, it kind of makes the whole image more vintage to, and pop out a little more. And I suggest you to use really light colors to catch the listener's attention. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I really hope you guys learned something. Make sure to check out this template. It has a bunch of textures, fonts, everything you need to level up your loop kit covers. So yeah. Shout out to Loopset Records for making this happen. Make sure to check out our Instagram. My Instagram is going to be also in the description below. So yeah, see you soon guys. Peace.